Okay, students. Uh, welcome once again to ELE three three two three. Okay, uh, laboratory number ten. Okay, so laboratory number ten is all about alternator synchronization. So the main objective of this lab is to learn how to synchronize an alternator to the electric power utility system and to observe the effects of improper phase condition upon the synchronizing process. Okay. Alright, so the modules or the equipments you need to use are the DC generator, okay, and the synchronous motor generator, a synchronizing module, okay, synchronizing module, and what else? Power supply, of course, okay, DC, uh, AC, AC and DC power supply, okay. Uh, and AC ammeter and a uh, AC voltmeter okay only that okay so go to from your manual go to figure 12-1 okay 12-1 and connect the circuit so before connecting the circuit connect the two motors using the or couple the two motors using the timing wheel. Okay. All right. Okay. So once done, then connect the circuit. Connect the circuit. So from uh, one, two, and three. Okay. So one and one, two, and three. So you connect one to the synchronizing module one. Okay. I think uh, you need a little bit longer wire. Here one to one. Okay. And two to two. And three. Three. Okay. And four. Connect it to number three. All right. Of the synchronous module. Okay. So four. Oh, wow. Okay. With a longer wire. So from four. Okay. Connect it to number three here. Okay, and five of the synchronizing module, connect it to number two. Okay, and number six, okay, you need to connect it to the AC ammeter, 1.5 range, going to number one, like that. Okay, and four, four five, six will be connected together in star connection, common. Okay. All right, and then um, after that, uh, voltmeter. No? Okay, so one. Okay, number two as well. We'll be connected home. Okay, and. Five and six, okay. Here, no. Five and six. Five. Put it here. Okay, six. So that we can monitor the voltage, no, of the two input and output. Okay, and after that, uh, from the DC motor, one. Connect it to number five. Okay, six and seven, when I get together, and eight and number two, like that, and then one will be connected to number uh,
8 and n. Okay, number one should be in n. Number number two will be number eight, the power supply. Okay, and here the last one seven. Okay, connect it to number seven here. This one also. Okay, and here. Okay. And don't forget to connect the neutron. This one, huh? the synchronous motor. Connect it to neutron. Okay, okay. And the three phase. Okay, and that's it. All right. So that's the complete set of connection, no? of your alternator synchronization. So set the DC motor field to start at the full clockwise for minimum resistance. Place the sequencing switch in the its open position. Okay, O. Alright. Turn on the power supply and using your hand tachometer, adjust the power supply output to motor speed approximately 1500. Okay, so we need this so that our motor speed okay, will be 1500. Okay, switch on. Right. I'm gonna replace this one. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. It is 1,500. No, it's still 1,100. So a little bit. Okay, make it 1,500. Hmm. Now the problem is I do uh, I cannot go to 1,500. Okay, I can only go to 1,136. Okay, or 1,128 only. All right. Okay. So measure the voltage. Right. So these are the voltage. Okay, so here's the voltage, it is E2, this is E1, alright, okay, so close the switch S, okay, Adjust the DC excitation alternator until the alternator output voltage E1 is equal to power E2. Alright, so we need to adjust this until the exciter, no? Until these two will be the same. Adjust this one. Okay. Right, so look at here. So I adjusted the exciter, okay, and look at this. So 400, uh, this is the E2 and E1, no? they're almost the same voltage now, okay. And look at the light, it's now blinking, no? okay. All right, so that's it. Three synchronizing lights should be flickering on and off. Okay, so they are on and off. So carefully adjust the DC motor speed until the beat frequency becomes quite low. Okay.
Okay? Okay, so that is your experiment number 10. Uh, number 9, uh, number 10. Okay? Alright, so thank you for watching. Good luck.